Now, your first warm weather forecast from meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It was a very active start to the work week with both heavy rain on Monday and then widespread rain and severe weather continued yesterday. We're finally tracking a break from that, at least for the afternoon and evening into the overnight hours today. We're going to return to that active pattern tomorrow with a chance of rain back in the forecast. But these were all totals from yesterday. North of the Freeport area, close to three inches, half an inch west of the road. Shell area, the Rockford area received three and a half inches, and then kind of near the Belvedere area, four and a half or close to four and a half inches, and then northeast of Rochelle, one inch. You can kind of tell by the scale up there, lighter rain kind of sitting with that green color, the heavier, the purple color, and then towards that red, that's the heaviest rain that we received over the last two days. And how that compared to June, believe it or not, June's total, we got 2.21 inches of rainfall, below average by about three inches. What we saw yesterday, though, 2.28 inches from the last two days and that's more than the entire month of June. So we got some much needed rain the past two days. Hopefully that is able to pull some of us out of that abnormally dry category and we'll see how that compares once the updated drought monitor does come out on Thursday. Rain chances do continue. The better chances though are going to come the next two days, Friday night, Friday afternoon into Friday night and then cutting off early Friday morning. We are going to be back to a cooler pattern as early as today. It is still muggy out there though. It is going to continue to be cooler until about Sunday. That's when we'll see temperatures tick upward again for Sunday and then into Monday. And then a drier weather pattern will move in again as early as the weekend. We do see a dry period today, but then we're going to turn back to active weather tomorrow. And then we'll start to see conditions dry out again over the weekend. We do have a little bit of a heat index out there. 81 is the current temperature. The heat index is just a couple degrees warmer, three degrees warmer in Rockford, checking into 84 based on what it feels like out there. 79 in Freeport, 82 in Sterling. 80 in Monroe and then 79 is the current temperature in DeKalb. So much lower than this time yesterday. Our dew points, however, though, like I mentioned before, those are still up in the lower 70s, upper 60s all across the map. 70 is the current dew point in Rockford, so it is still muggy out there. Luckily, eventually our dew points are also going to come down and overnight lows over the weekend are going to be much lower, so it is going to be very nice outside. We do still have a lot of cloud coverage out there, though. That is unfortunately going to continue into Thursday and portions of Friday. We will start to see a little bit of clearing later Friday once that rain does move out. But for now, we're not tracking any rain. All of that's kind of just northwest or southwest of the Davenport, Iowa area. Cloud coverage, though, you can see all that from the system being tossed in. Most of the severe weather, though, is kind of concentrated south of that Cincinnati area. So we're not talking about severe weather today, luckily. That marginal risk did get increased and pushed down southward, so we're not worrying about that. As we get into the overnight hours, cloud coverage can be expected to linger. The rain, though, tomorrow probably going to not move in until about 10 in the morning. It will become a little bit more widespread, though, as we head for the afternoon hours, say between about 2, 3, 4 p.m. in the afternoon before it does start to break up a little bit more. So that's when it kind of gets a little bit more widespread. Not going to last that long. Could last into portions of Friday morning, but for most after about 10 a.m., that's when we'll start to see that rain sort of clear out out there and then that will lead to a dry period once we're getting into Friday afternoon and night. 66 though, that's the overnight low, mostly cloudy. We could see some patchy fog overnight into tomorrow morning as well. 82 is the high tomorrow again. We are tracking some isolated to scattered showers in the morning. Those will pick up a little bit through the afternoon and evening into the overnight hours tomorrow. Temperatures though stay in the lower 80s the next couple of days. A little bit warmer by Sunday and then Mimi near 90 on Monday, but at least temperatures look to come down again after that as well.